Peace. What's happening, good people? This gift here for Pay Us No Mind. And let's talk about digital distribution and music promotion. Now, I'm going to break these companies up into groups. So first, we have Amuse, Ditto, and DistroKid. Now, these companies don't provide any music promotion, right? They don't do anything for you. They just do digital distribution. They get your music in stores, and whatever you get out of that is whatever you get out of that. They're not going to help you. The next tier is you got United Masters, AWOL, Symphonic, 1RPM. Now, this group does provide promotional support, but it comes at an additional expense, right? Not out of pocket, but in a form of a percentage. So if you look at a company like United Masters, they take 50% of whatever opportunity they secure on your behalf. So if they get your music placed anywhere and there's any money changing hands, they're taking half of it. And in addition to that 50% cut that they're going to take, they also bump the percentage of your streaming and download sales to 10%, no matter what you signed up for. So if you signed up to pay them $60 a year and keep 100% of your revenue, but they get your music placed somewhere, they're going to take 10% of your revenue where they're uh, keeping 10%, then it turns into 20% of your revenue. So that's what happens with United Masters. Now with AWOL, they move from 15% to a negotiated rate. So it is an undisclosed amount. It has to be negotiated, which we can assume is going to be greater than the 15% standard rate that they take. And with uh, 1RPM, again, they have a 15% standard rate that they take. And to provide promotion, they want to negotiate a new rate. So again, it's an undisclosed rate that's probably greater than the 50%, um, the 15% standard rate that they take. And with Symphonic, Symphonic also wants the negotiated rate. Now, there is no base rate for us to kind of like dig into and decide, you know, okay, well, it might be greater than that, but going by all of these other companies like AWOL and, and uh, 1RPM, we could assume that it's going to be greater than 15% effectively. So those companies all want to charge you an additional percentage or a higher percentage rate in exchange for providing some level of support. Then you have your tune cores and your CD babies. Now CD baby take 9% of your revenue point blank period. That's how they operate. And in exchange for providing any kind of promotional support, it's the same 9%. They don't jack the rate up or anything like that. They just provide the support and take the same 9%, right? Uh, TuneCore, they allow you to keep 100%. And they provide promotional support. Now, one key story that I have with TuneCore is that a story that I recently came across, which was about the artist Silento with that song, uh, Watch Me, Whip Nay Nay. Apparently, TuneCore played the major role in the success of that song. So that song was like bubbling online, like you had a few people doing videos and it started gaining traction. And TuneCore's head of video spotted the uh, growth of that song, spotted the fact that that song was developing and starting to catch on and brought it to a company called Dance On. And TuneCore partnered with this company called Dance On, which makes high level, uh, high quality dance videos. Like, you know, those videos where you see people in a dance studio and they got the high tech camera and all of that. Those types of people that make those high quality dance videos and had them make content for the song. And that helped that song blow up. So it played a significant role, not a minor role, but a significant role in the success of Watch Me with Nene. When it comes to promotion, none of them really like offer promotion in a sense of you go in and, and provide music and they listen to it and they say, oh, this is a, an amazing record. Okay, we're going to take this record. We're going to do PR for it. We're going to do radio promotion for it. We're going to do all of these things and help help get it out there. Like 
that's that's not something that they do. The whole purpose of digital distribution was to provide everybody the opportunity to get their music heard because record companies and radio stations were gatekeepers and telling people, hey, if your music don't sound like this, if you don't look like that, you can't get your music heard. So these companies came and said, hey, we're not we're going to take judgment out of it. Our job ain't to judge your music. Our job is to get it in stores and let the fans decide. And that is great for allowing everybody to get heard. Not so great when it comes to trying to promote promote people because you can't promote everybody. There's no way you could promote all of those artists and all of that music. So they have to, if they want to provide promotion, find, okay, well, how do we kind of sift through this? How do we find people who, uh, who we can promote? And by and large, that is determined by success. Whether some song takes off on social media platforms or whether it sales or downloads, like that's what effectively has to happen. So you get a spark and it can help turn that spark into flames and fan them. But you need a spark first. If anybody has experienced uh, promotional support from them, like they've extended themselves to you and done anything for you, you got a story to tell, please share, man, you know, in the comment section. Uh, as always, y'all can subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video. If y'all want to hit me up, you can at PayUsNoMind on Instagram, at PayUsNoMind on Twitter, PayUsNoMind at gmail.com. Uh, for those that don't know, we have the Pay Us No Mind blog where we'll, where we'll be diving deeper into topics like this. So make sure you check that out. This is Gift signing off. Pay Us No Mind. Peace, good people. One.